Have you ever been haunted by something for the entirety of your life? I tried as hard as I could. I failed you as a brother. The cookies and cream you so desired. Only now, after 27 long years, do I have the chance to make things right again. Would everybody be quiet? I'm trying to record an apology to my brother. It's a limited time moment. I'm Nate. He's Nick. We haven't filmed in four months. Well, I don't know that it's been four months, but I will Pretty say sure. that, well, it's been a really long time. And most of it is just, you know, other work-related things, school-related things. We just haven't really gotten around to filming no, anything. we could have filmed whenever we wanted. Eh, yeah, but I it, still have a lot of time. editing to do for RCR, so like I but really. There's a bunch of time you didn't. Yeah, but I'm saying like I wouldn't have been able to edit anything because priorities. You know what I mean? Okay. Well. Because I get paid for one thing, I don't get paid for this. I have iPhone 11 now. I need oh. to talk about it all the time. Yes, uh, Nate has a lot of uh, new things as a result of the holiday season. Merry Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> merry belated Christmas, but happy New Year. Um, among the updates that we need to give you is that we did, in fact, get the flavor correct for the mystery Oreo thing, but we did not win the $50,000. Oh, also, this was uh, Nate's Christmas gift that he apparently has now. So, yes, it is a Sabretech lightsaber that does a great many things, such as... Uh, Hi, people that watch me. Hi, my friends. Man, yeah, stop shot, people. So... Cardo. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. There is a backstory to what we're going to review today. Did you just impale yourself? When I was about seven years old, um, my mom was a teacher in the elementary school that my brother and I attended. And I don't know how I got this, but I got a hold of a cookies and cream Twix, which blew my mind because at the time there were no other flavors of Twix that we had ever seen. And so my goal was to split this Twix with my brother. But by the end of the school day, something had happened and it had disappeared. I don't know if someone took it or if I lost it or what. But somehow, like, I felt so badly that I didn't have this Twix anymore. And then I never saw another cookies and cream Twix ever again. And I never got to make that up to my brother. Until now! Yeah! It's cookies and cream Twix. It's back for Whoa, a limited time. We can't do this without my dad. If you, if you, if... oh man, forget him. Let's he doesn't save, need it. A... Let's save a piece. You have to save. We'll a piece. save a piece for him. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about it is, I guarantee you, if I told him this story, he would not remember, have any idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, he doesn't remember anything. But, but like, my braces. There's so much food in my braces. Well, not so much. So just braces. Well, that's I mean, like the one bad thing about braces. Are the, among other bad things about braces. There's not really that much. Bad. So, basically, we're looking at these Twix that kind of look like poop, and we are going to give them a shot to two, yeah. one. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is good Twix. It's like there's an Oreo in here. I mean, more or less, that's what cookies and cream is. Can we have anyway. more of these? These are good. Well, I mean, you can have the one piece that we're not saving for your dad. Ew. Yeah. It looks like there's two. No, wait. There's two pieces. I don't need them. Yeah, I always wonder if there's any kind of difference between left and right Twix. Like if any of them taste different, and there's really not. Like it's it's whatever. Mm. What I like about it is that it's very, like it's crunchy, but it's also very smooth on top too. You know, it's like melting in your mouth without you even having to but oh oh man that is just peak delightful was it worth the 27 year wait um no <laughs> but now's a chance for me to uh make amends to my brother for having lost that cookies and cream twix 27 years ago and well, you never had one after that? Oh, yeah, that's right. You know. No, I never saw, I never found one again. And so now is it the opportunity. At the end of the day, I am positive on these. This is a thumbs up from me because it's smooth, it's crunchy. It tastes it's weird, though. How does it taste weird? I don't know. 
Like, does it taste weird in that, like, you're expecting it to taste one way and it tastes... It's like good, the... but it's, like, part of it is bad. Which part? Let me try. I think the hard part. Huh. So, you're not a fan of the crunch, then? No. It's like... I don't know if it's bad. So... I guess it's them together are bad. I don't know. It's good, but it's bad. It's weird. It's, I just wouldn't eat it all the time. Well, I mean, you shouldn't eat it all the time, even if it were, like, perfect. But the idea of it is that, you know, oh, we're combining... I think part it's of it... It's good. It, it's not good, but it's not bad. Yeah, so, because, like, the cream is replacing, like, the caramel that usually goes on Twix. Um, and so, like, if you're biting into it and you've had Twix before... I, I don't... Yeah, neither do I. But it's something where there's a certain dissonance in your brain about what it's supposed to taste like. Or maybe if you have, like, an expectation of what it's supposed to taste like. But then again, it's like neither of us eat Twix, so who even knows? But My dad thinks that lemonade, um, le lemonade Capri Sun is bad. I've never had lemonade Capri Sun. I have some now. I, I thought it was going to be bad because, like, I heard just heard bad things. But it's actually good. Lemonade Capri Sun. So if you think it's bad... It's actually good. Yeah, give that a shot. But Capri Sun is one of those things that, like, you kind of age out of after a certain time, I think. You know, like, well, eh, I say that, and when you were a baby, I drank, like, half of your Capri Suns. Um, like, when you, well, not even a baby, but when you were, like, four. Like, all I would do is, because, like, you get thirsty, and then sometimes you kind of want something sweet that isn't water. And so you just drink a Capri Sun, and then it's just, like, such a fleeting thing <laughs> huh. all right well double episode time i'm going to try a lemonade capri sun I'll get it too. oh i didn't shake mine at all but i just don't want to get it everywhere so there that's my shake it's a light well, I, shake it shook when i threw it across oh the that's room. right that's true yeah all right and you already know what this is like but yeah. i don't so cheers three two one Oh, wow, that's really nice. I mean, the problem is that <laughs> I just had chocolate, and lemonade does not pair well with chocolate, like, at all. It's refreshing. Like, Capri Sun, even when it's, like, not ice cold, I don't know how they do it, but it always manages to kind of give you the sensation of drinking an ice cold beverage. You know what I mean? It like, tastes like normal lemonade. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I'm saying, like, temperature-wise, like, it's... You know, Capri Suns, I don't know. Maybe it's the pouch that they keep it in, whatever. But, um, yeah, it tastes kind of like your standard uh, run-of-the-mill country time lemonade. I'm, this is good if you, your kids like Capri Sun. Got some fine um, putting your lightsaber back together. So, for limited time, Roman, I'm Nick. There, now it's cold. And I'm Nate. And until next time, Lamborghinis and Jordans.